In this video, we're going to go over some new reveals from Evo Kadi for Star Citizen Alpha 3.24. And at the end, we'll talk about the latest patch. Let's get into this video. Before we get started, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Drake Cutter. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of September. Let's get into the video. All right, guys. So there has been some interesting uh, information pertaining to what's happening with 3.24. And I think it's worth talking about. So now the very first one that was revealed is an Evo Kati managed to get two trade cutters, three Ursa rovers, one arrow, one Gladius, a Lynx, one Pulse Alex, one Dragonfly, one aurora mr and a carrick in a large hangar with room to spare that is insane initially i thought um, we won't be able to pull out uh, vehicles but apparently they're able to do that so that's pretty cool in a larger hangar so it seems like you can pull out these smaller vehicles and put them on the sides and there'll be space for them to fit um you know some of these uh spaces have can hold fighters vehicles and things of that nature so and it, it is my understanding that they persist the way where you left them so if you want to keep your, your land vehicles just on the sides in your hangar uh, until whenever you need them then i think you can keep them that way um, and it will persist in that way so i thought that was pretty cool to share and um also it um i'm not sure how i feel about this uh they, there was some more reveals pertaining to the uh, cargo elevators at Outposts, it seems like. And it seems it's, it's out in the open and it seems like anybody can just walk into it and uh, operate it, I think. I'm not sure. I, I'm sure CIG has worked out the edge cases on random people running into your ship or running into your cargo elevator or trying to use it. Um, Hopefully they resolve the issues because I can see people just taking your stuff or, you know, and, and things like that um, in, in those scenarios. So that's, that's, yeah, I think they need to resolve this even before it hits wave one because I think a lot of people will just troll uh, with this. And another new reveal, like it seems like there's going to be a new Stanton Skybox. It, it looks similar to the old one, but it seems like it's a lot more uh, clearer in terms of the coloring. Um, so when that comes out you guys will see it but uh, that's interesting so what, what they're going for is pyro is going to have its own skybox stanton will have its own skybox terra will have its own skybox and each skybox will will be a certain move that they want you to have when you're in that star system so um stanton will be similar it's going to be a similar look to what we currently know and pyro is going to be that red color of uh that signifies danger um at every corner all right so um so let's move on into the patch notes we do have a new patch that dropped not too long ago and um this one testing focus remains the same as we uh covered in the latest uh in the most recent videos so persistent hangers persistent and instant hangers uh free elevators storage access hover trolleys and uh hangar decorations uh, not being tested is cargo hauling missions, cargo commodity rebalance, dynamic event. And um, all right, so uh, some of the updates or features in gameplay under the gameplay category it says uh, master boat, at boat, flight control retuning. Uh, it seems like they made some more retuning uh, in regards to this because the last one they did the same thing. So now ship cockpit camera polish it says. Uh, ship third person camera update with smoother vibration um, along with the same effect changes applied to cockpit to reduce HUD movement. Interesting. Curious to see how that's going to look when that's out. Um, so bug fixes, there's quite a few for this one. They fixed an issue causing FPS AI to target and fire at players through uh, buildings instead of attempting to gain line of sight. They fixed an issue where the maneuver thrusters on the uh, 400i are rotating perpendicular to their intended position. They fixed an issue where if a player force closes or disconnects the game client while taking out or withdrawing item from storage, the item will be lost 
that were being withdrawn. The fixing issue where external elevator doors are failing to open when elevators carrying players arrive at persisting hangar within the PU. The fixing issue where oversized active armistice zone icon. The fixing issue where quitting the client can break the exit bed uh, interaction. Uh, the fixing issue where players cannot retrieve ships from ASAP terminals at Orson Seraphim or New Babbage. The fixing issue where persisting hangar destination changes when elevators is called by another player along with this is one client crash five server crash fixes before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and better players if you are interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one